Hi guys, welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're gonna talk about some new features that Microsoft is improving in Windows 11, to be more exact, in the Windows Insider program, in the beta, and also in the dev channel. And that is a feature that we've talked about before, the feature that allows you to see messages, calls, and recent photos, and more phone information directly in your Windows 11 start menu. You have this sidebar that will basically allow you to see different information related to your phone. And of course, in this video, I'm also gonna quickly show you how to set up this and what information you can see. But also, we're gonna talk about the changes that Microsoft has done to this because I think they improved this quite a bit. First of all, when you don't have your phone set up, you're a brand new user, you want to connect your phone, you'll be able to directly set up your phone from the start menu. You're going to have here a screenshot from the Microsoft blog of how that looks if you don't have your phone set up. So you can directly set it up from your start menu and of course you have to select Android or iPhone and that is basically another new thing is that connected iPhone users can now access features from the start menu and also both Android and iPhone connected users can now share files across devices directly from the start menu and I think that is great. First of all, let's talk about the minimum requirements that you need to have in order to see your phone information in the start menu. So we're going to have to be on the latest beta channel build. For example, I'm on the build 22635.4805 and if you are in the dev channel, you should be on the build 26120.3000 at least. Also, you have to go into the Microsoft Store, then go to downloads and then click on get updates to get all the latest updates. Basically, you're going to have to update phone link and also cross device experience host and of course you're also going to have to open phone link because phone link may have an additional update whenever you open it for the first time other than that your pc of course must be connected using a microsoft account and you should have bluetooth le capability this is also not supported for pcs running pro education or education skus now what is left to do of course you can either set up your phone directly from the start menu or from the phone link app you're going to need the link to windows app on your phone most new Samsung phones, for example, come with the app pre-installed. On iPhone, I think you're going to have to install it from the Play Store and then you just need to scan a QR code and all the information will be synchronized between your phone and your PC. And of course, then you should do a restart and then right click on the start menu, go to start settings and make sure show mobile device and start is enabled. Calls, texts and other notifications are shown in the start menu. And you also have here the quick link to the phone link app. Now, after you've done all this, you should see this new sidebar in the start menu. First of all, you have the phone phone preview here. If you click on it, the phone link app will be opened. You can also click on your phone screen to access it really easily. You have the connection status, you have Bluetooth, and also the battery percentage. You also have quick links to messages, calls, photos. So for example, I can click on messages and it will open the phone link app directly onto my messages. The same thing can be said for calls and also photos. If you click on it, it will be loaded up into the photo section where you can see your recent photos. And also recent photos will show up here in the start menu after Windows is is finished synchronizing every file and you also have a new option here send files you can click on it in this window you just have to select or drag and drop files to send so for example I'm gonna select a wallpaper it's gonna establish the connection and on my phone I have a new notification that says I received the file it's as easy as that to send files from your PC to your Android phone also you have more options open phone link the quick link to phone link customize recent activity and also start settings if you click on customize recent activity you're gonna have the phone link app with the start menu personalization section where you can select which content you want to be shown in the start menu. For example, recent photos, recent messages, and also recent calls. In my opinion, this is a nice update for Microsoft and I'm glad that they introduced this also for iPhone users. And I really like the fact that we can now set up our phone directly from the start menu. You no longer need to do that from the phone link app. Of course, the phone link app will be opened in the process, but still, I think this is a really nice improvement. And of course, if you don't want this big start menu and you don't like this idea, you can just right click on the start menu, start settings, and then just disable this and the start menu will go back to normal. So this is the video for today. These are the new features that Microsoft is testing. Of course, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post if you want to learn more information about this. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.